Hey everybody, so that is the effect I will be showing you today. Now, all you want to do is import your footage into Premiere Pro like I've got here. And once you have it imported, you just want to get to the spot where you want the effect to start. If it's your entire clip, then don't worry about this. But I want my effect to start as soon as I press that button. So all I'm going to do is just cut the clip there, which will leave me with two segments. This segment is going to be the part which I will be adding the effect to. So I'm just going to right click, scroll down to unlink, and then unlink the video from the audio so I can select them individually. And then I just want to duplicate the video twice and layer them on top of each other. And once you've got it layered like that, you won't see any difference just because it's just showing the top layer. So then what you want to go and do is go over to your effects tab and in your search bar type in color. And down here under image control, you'll see color balance RGB. And now you just want to go and apply that. Just drag it over on top of your video clip. You want to apply that to all three of them. Still no difference in the clip. And then you want to select the top one, go into your effect controls. You want to scroll down to your color balance, the one you've just added, the RGB. And you want to go to green, make that zero, blue, make that zero, and that'll just leave the red on 100. And then you just want to go to the second one, the second film clip, and then you want to sort of do the same, but you want to make the red and blue zero, so that'll leave green at 100. And then on your last clip, you want to scroll down again, but this time you want to make red and green zero, which will leave blue at 100. And as you can see, it's doesn't look really much like the effect and that's just because it is showing the top layer which we have set to red only so that's why this is red so all you want to do is go to your opacity and then go to blend mode and change the blend mode to screen do that for all three and once you've done it for all three you'll see the color will go back to its original as you can see here it's the same color now is the easy part. All you need to do is just move the position of the three layers and you'll see a difference. See, I'm just going to move the top layer over a little bit. And you can see that split effect, that 3D split. I'm going to go move the second layer the other way. I'm not going to make it too intense. And then I'm going to move the third layer. I'll move that one way as well. And you can see it's a pretty intense pretty intense effect. So it's up to you whether, how intense you want it. If you're using this over multiple video clips, it can get a bit tedious because you will have to duplicate them and apply all that color balance and do all that over again. So I recommend just using it in short bursts, but you can get a few, you can get some cool things out of this effect. In the timeline, if you just move the actual start of the clip, you can get some pretty cool effects, like a, a cool ghosting effect you'll see get a cool cool looking ghosting effect which is, looks pretty cool for a music video you can down their intensity to make it look more ghostly that is the color rgb effect and if you want to see how i did the transition into that in the first clip it's very simple just let me know in the comments and thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week bye